Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Madam Indai Kud Kud at your service. Yes. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you for those people who watched my video yesterday and subscribe and like my video. Thank you, thank you so much. So, recap. Yesterday, I tell you my experience, my flight experience, travel from Manila, Philippines to United States of America. And now, our topic is what happened? What happened if you are already here in the U.S.? So guys, I will tell you my experience. When I'm here in the U.S., sa simula masaya. Kasi meron kang lugar na hindi napupuntahan. Meron kang mga tao na hindi mo kakilala. Lahat sila mga matatangos ang ilong, mapuputi, Amerikano. Diba? So, dapat nakaka-excite. At isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Walang motorcycle dito. Walang motor dito. Dito, kotse. Kaya, nakaka-panibago. Kasi dito, kotse. Social, guys. May pasit with self built ka pa dyan. Diba? Pero masaya kasi aircon. Sa bahay, aircon. Sa sasakyan, aircon. Lahat na aircon. Kung gusto mong pumuti, hindi ka naman naka-afford ng mga beauty products. Kagaya ni Inday, could could ngayon na hindi makaka-afford ng beauty products, di wag kang lumabas. ba diba? Kasi dito sa Amerika, aircon lahat. Pero guys, pag lumampas ka na ng tatlong linggo, that's a time that you will be homesick. Why? Because when you go outside, there is no people there. There is no people talking in the street. All people are working. You know? Dito, silent guy, tahimik. You know, hindi kagaya ng Pilipinas na paglabas mo, oy, ang ganda mo, ang ganda ng damit mo, oh, may pimples ka o ang baon na kilikili mo, di ba? Yan sa Pilipinas dito, kakaiba guys. Walang tao. Walang tao. So, ang ginawa ko guys, wala, nakatunga nga. Nakaganihan. Kasi nga walang tao. Okay sana pag may ano ako di, pag may neighbor kami dito na Filipino, eh wala. Nag-iisang indekud kud Filipino ako dito. Dalagang Filipina ako guys dalagang Pilipina, ako lang mag-isa. Kaya ang ginawa ko, guys, nilibang ko yung sarili ko, naglinis ako, kahit ano-ano na ang ginawa ko, guys, naglinis, naglaba, lahat na, pero dito automatic, guys. Kahit nga stove, hindi ko alam kasi yung stove dito, touch screen, doon sa atin may abuhan pa yan, sa Bisaya abuhan, yung, yung kahoy, dito, touchscreen na. Washing, may dryer pa. Doon sa atin, isasampay pa. Nakakatuwa kasi at the same time, nalulearn mo yung mga gawain na, you know, yung tinatawag nila na lazy work. You know, lazy work. Kasi hindi ka na nag effort you just, you just put all the clothes to the dryer and you have to wait and after that, you have to fold it. Right? So, masaya na lungkot no, in terms of work, it's easy here because it's automatic. All appliances is automatic, high tech. In the Philippines, it's different. You have to do work. You have to effort. You have to, have to make if, if effort. But in terms of socialization, uh, banding, happiness, and etc., guys, the best Philippines because you have time to talk to your neighbor. You have time to laugh with them. Here, it's different. Nothing. Because here, time is cold. Lahat ng mga tao dito, all foreigners, all 
people here who working to pay their bills, to pay their car, everything. Guys, very expensive here in the U.S. You know, very expensive. That's why I will connect my experience to our topic this morning. If you are millennials, be alert and be independent. We are all millennials. You are all millennials. I am in that good good. I am millennials. You know, we are all millennials. But we should be alert. Alert of you guys. Me, nasa imbang bansa ako. Nasa US ako. Kailangan maging alert ako. Maging wise ako, guys. Yung husband mo, nag-work. So, obviously, ikaw lang mag-isa sa bahay. Huwag kang tumanganga. Gumawa ka ng paraan para makatulong ka naman. Don't depend on him or her. You know, kumilos ka. Be alert. You know, be wise. Be initiative. You know, ganyan tayo mga Pilipino. Be initiative. You know, be helpful. You know, para at least matuwa naman yung husband o yung asawa mo. ba? Diba? Habang wala ka pang trabaho. Kasi nga, wala ka pang work permit. Wala ka pang green card. Pangalawa, guys. Be independent. Stand your ground. You know, pag may mga kunting argument, you know, you have to stand your ground. You have to talk if tama ka naman, di ba? You have to talk. Para hindi tayo apa-apihin, guys. Hindi tayo apa-apihin. Ganyan ako. You know, hindi, I mean, wala akong background na ganyan magsalita. Pero kailangan, pag nandito ka sa ibang bansa, kailangan kang matuto. Kailangan panindigan mo. Kasi pangarap po ito, diba? Sabi, all people say that. American dream. You know, American dream. But, to be honest, it's not. When you step here in the U.S., it's not your dream. It's the beginning to reach your dream, to reach your goal in life, to help your family. Here in the U.S., their cultures here is, if you reach 18, it's up to you if you will leave your family, find work, and rent an apartment, etc. It's up to you. In the Philippines, we depend on our parents to, you know, our parents will support us to studies and everything like that. But here, you should be independent to yourself. That's why you are millennials. I get it. You are millennials, you know. In that good good is millennials. But what is millennials, guys? A lot of definition. A lot of definition. People say, oh, hashtag millennials. Hashtag happy millennials. What? What did you do? You know? In my case, I need to be alert. I need to be independent. Right now, I have no job because I have no work permit. It's still in the process. So what did I do? I help my husband, I take care of him, I cook him, I walk the dogs because we have two dogs, I clean the house, I give my ideas how this house make beautiful. So, ganyan tapat guys, we have to think, you know, so that when you have work, you know, at least you give all your time, all your of effort the, the, the period that you don't have work because if you have if you if you have already work wala ka nang time sa asawa mo wala ka nang time you know so to all millennials there be alert be independent you know even if you are not in abroad you know you have to be alert you have to help your mother you know you have to help your grandmother you know, feed the animals, feed chicken, and be independent. 
you know, if your parents can't support you in school, you have to tell them that, listen, mom, dad, I will go to the store to work and so that I will continue my studies, you know, that's it, be independent. Kung hindi kaya ng magulang ninyo, be independent, guys. You know, because there are millennials that are very irresponsible, depending on their parents. You know, and they don't know that their parents try their best, you know, try their best, but I, they can't. They can't afford. That's why the key of this is finish your studies. Whatever your, kung ano ka man, millennial ka man o hindi, as long as you know to be alert and independent, to be independent in yourself, everything will be fine. Everything will be good, you know. So, my advice to all millennials out there, just be alert and be independent. Help your parents. Love your parents. Be independent yourself. Don't depend to others. Because in the future, you will realize that you're right. You're glad that you're doing that to yourself. Of course, love yourself. And my tips to uh, apply this to yourself is... Be true to yourself. Be who you be proud of who you are and start doing this. But before you start doing this, love yourself. And if you love yourself, you can love your family. You can love your friend. You can love your cousins. You can love your loved ones. And don't forget to pray to Almighty God to the universe. So that's the end of our topic. Guys, be alert. If you're millennials, be alert and be independent. Once again, welcome to my channel. Madam Indai Good Good at your service. Bye. Mabuhay. Paalam. And see you soon. Bye.